on the air, episode 100, Marker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's episode 100 of On the Air with Sully Little Tommy. Hi, I'm Shotgun Tom Kelly. Take it away, Sully Man! Jade and the Sully Man. Today's show also features Emmy Award winning director Jared Coleman, band den mother Mary Burt Godwin, associate producer Bianca Zerpa, production assistant Chloe Drysdale, and the rest of the Loft 100 crew. And now, here's Sully and Little Tommy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I didn't know we were gonna. I didn't know we were gonna have a live studio audience. Yes. This and it also looks like my eighth grade prom at uh, <laughs> at uh, Marston Junior High School. So maybe I'll ask her to dance this time. Well, it does look like a 1979. Yeah, it looks good. 1979. Welcome, you guys. Thanks, you guys, for coming in. We love to see you. Thank you to uh, thank you especially to Mary Burke Godwin, our uh, yes. our band dead mother, for putting all of this. Was this you? All you? It was all you, wasn't it? Fantastic. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, very good. And a shout out to two of the people there, Carol Minog and Vicky Ollier, and they went to Castle Park High School. And the rest oh, yeah. of the people. <laughs> and Chat, and wait, I hear, I Chat, hear, whoa, 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 whoa. Shout out to these two people and Cece, uh, Cece, my sister from another, who founded the Sully Band. I'm not yes. kidding. Cece, Cece East, Cecilia. Cece. Yeah. And the rest of you people. And I don't know how this... Way to make him feel like crap. I don't know how this got past security, but there's someone in red that went to Hilltop High School. Wow, yeah. He was what? The guest. A big shout-out to my good friend Lance Weir here from yes. Challenge Athletes hey. Foundation. There you go. Let me just tell you from the start. So we leave next uh, Friday up to San Francisco to ride 700 miles in seven days for the Challenge Athletes Foundation, million-dollar challenge. Uh, this is me and Lance's 12th year, I think, right? Wow. Number 12? 11, 12? Uh, and, uh, of course, Lance's, Lance's goal this year was to raise $60,000. Um, Sully Entertainment Group put in $10,000. I think you're going to see that in your account today. We're $12,000 away-ish. Go to LanceWeir.com. You're going to see the, the name at the bottom of the screen there. But let's, you know, Lance is not supposed to be raising money for challenged athletes. He's just supposed to be doing the ride. But the guy pulls up and says, I'll, I'll pull in 60. Let's go. Yeah. Let's light this candle. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Lance. We got you. He has more Sully Band hats than me and James. <laughs> And I also sent in a donation. I post-dated a check for January for... Yeah, that's bucks. awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Just like my LLS donation that never cleared. Right. Congratulations, episode Congratulations. 100. Good. Woo! We're missing a... <laughs> it is a shame that my, uh, my work wife of uh, almost 30 years, Rusty Nails, couldn't be here today. And, uh, and he literally passed on that stage right there uh, at a taping of On the Air. But uh, he will always be remembered and always be a part of the show. Yes. We've got the Russ cam back here. Rusty. Yes, Little indeed. do you know that his son Tyler is over there. He's a guy that looks like he's breaking in your car. <laughs> All right, you want to get this party started? Let's do it. Let's bring out the first guest. Ladies and gentlemen, he's my hero, One, Shotgun two, Tom four. Kelly. <laughs> Look at this! Wow! wow. 
Trip Sprague on the saxophone, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Kenny Loggins. What else you got? He got he's played with a lot of favorites. What a show, what a show, what a show! Wow, yeah. great to see you. Shotgun, with the live audience, this is like words of popping. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's true. I did a uh, children's show called Words of Poppin', and we did have uh, live audiences. Five yes. of them in one day, I remember. We can still hear you every day, though. Oh, yeah, on Sirius XM. Channel 73, baby. Yeah. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> that's him. Couldn't wait to hear that. All right, good. All right. All right, who else we got? Oh, we got Shotgun you know running the show today. I love this woman. Everyone has a crush on her in San Diego from KUSI's Good Morning San Diego, Lauren Finney. I hugged you out front. Nice to see you. Hi. Wow. You know her Thank husband. I this. say this all the time, but your husband Ryan and I have like I know. bromance going. <laughs> he he created my his first of all he created this hat called oh, the yeah, Melon. He, he created a new category of baseball hat, but all the Sully Ben hats are, are his, and he's been so gracious to us. He's he's. Man, everybody likes me until they meet Brian, then I'm chopped liver. It's like, hey, <laughs> Lauren can, who? Can Brian come out and play? You know? Did you just get off did you just get off the air? Just yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, I know. You've been up since one? <laughs> oh, that's good. But congratulations on 100. Awesome. Yeah. I had to be here for Thanks that for and a live it. studio on. Yeah, hey, but thank you, thank you to you because when this was just a concept, you were part of our practice show. Yeah. Like before episode. Oh, that's one. right. You were so part of the non aired pilot. Yeah. Didn't we have Faulkner on? Yeah. I forget. We had a number of people that that thing never saw the light of day. <laughs> it's probably good. We, I mean, that was where we could just say anything. All right. All right. You know what? I grew up listening to this guy on the radio from Star 94 1, Jesse Lozano. Hey! Pretty good walk up, right? That was, that was a, very uh, good. That was a little bit of bifurcation in the band today, as you can see. We're gonna have the whole group wear them, and then the, you know, some it's like it's like business in the front, party in the back. Everybody wanted to celebrate the hundredth their own way. I guess. Yeah, that's right. You don't all have to dress like me. Do you always dress like that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. By the way, are we getting syndication money now that we're hundred episodes? Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Right. Tommy's Somebody got asked his, me the same thing. Tommy's How got much his checkbook. Paid? That's right. You guys right. both met Tom Cruise back in the day. Oh. We did. What was yes. your impression? Um, I thought that he was incredibly calculated, but in the way that I wanted him to be. He just had every moment um, figured out. He had every pose, every camera, every picture. He, I mean, I just loved his overall vibe, I guess. I had never really been what around about you, Lauren? I, I, I Honestly, I was expecting not to like him as much as I did. That's right. I found it was Tom very, Cruise. Come on. Even, but, but that's why I guess maybe I was expecting just like this air of... I don't know. I mean, he flew in his dead. own helicopter, landed on the midway. <laughs> if you don't do it, you're fired. <laughs> So, wait, so I gotta, can't handle it. I gotta ask, did he orchestrate everything? Like, could you tell, like, he there, he wasn't gonna turn left unless he knew he was gonna turn left? Like, I feel like the playlist they were playing on the Midway was, like, yeah. Tom Cruise approved, yeah. if that makes but sense. But imagine, last little imagine thing. being that famous since you were 18, and now he's staring down the barrel of 60. Yeah. So that one person. Yeah, I want, I, wanna, I wanna look like that at 60. But that one person visited San Diego and created thousands of jobs. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's really crazy. Just for a few hours. Wow. He told me if wait I a ever second. caught oh, up stop with him. Wait, wait, wait. For, for the Navy. Yeah, that one person. It was a recruiting tool. He created thousands. <laughs> of well, that one, the one visit, that one day. For I the love career. when he tap dances. Oh, let's put tap dances. <laughs> <laughs> when Tom Cruise came to San Diego, yeah. that one visit for what seven hours yeah. created a lot of jobs from catering. From oh, a I movie see. premiere. Okay. I mean, he he's a it's he did amazing. Like five events now. It also co yeah. probably costed a lot of money in security. Yeah. <laughs> see. Did he did he land the helicopter himself? You no. Did. You didn't. <laughs> no, he did not. Oh yes, he did. No, he did <laughs> oh, we got to find out by oh, the end of the show. I'm almost no. positive. No, that was the rumor, but he, no. He was that in the was, passenger it was seat. A, it was it was a 
pilot he, and he got out of the helicopter. He did not. He did made not, the pilot duck. I, like no. I hope my family is not watching this show right now because I've been selling that for six months. All right. Um, okay. All right. I should. And I Who am. Are we leaving anybody out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a big more. one. There's a cup. There's three I more. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, there's three empty seats. All right, let's roll. Let's From roll. From the state of Texas, my favorite weatherman, Mark <laughs> Mathis. Mark Mathis. I uh, heard the homeless population in San Diego was getting bad, but never did I expect this. Y'all look, look great. Y'all look fantastic. Y'all have absolutely nothing to do today? Hello. I want to see the weather with a live audience every day. Yeah. Can you imagine? Wow. There's my buddy. Yeah. Hey, uh, Russ. Uh, At some point, you'll see on the Russ cam, he's giving his, he's giving his mom tequila here, lessons. Yeah. At some point on here, you'll see that he'll see the UN you know, dueling Mathesis come up at some point. Oh, no, shimmy. Yeah. Shimmy. And the shimmy. 75. 75. 75. 75. How are you, my good friend? To see you. Good to see you. How are you? Love the threads. Thank you. Right back at you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> How's your physical? Uh, <laughs> uh, for those of you who missed it, I uh, posted a little video of my physical the other day, and it was fine. Everything's yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah, everything's great. Yeah. Hold on. Moon River. <laughs> wow. We're wow. going to do some editing on this program, <laughs> starting with Lauren. Ca Lauren called me that afternoon because she got a text from Paul. It's like, is Mathis okay? Is he, like, drunk or something? Why is he posting these crazy videos? And Lauren's like, Mark, <laughs> everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I just had to blow uh, off some steam. I'm the I'm the godmother to the show. Right. Like, we have yeah, one Mary Bird Godwin right there. See, Give her a hand, ladies. You understand? All right. You got it. Yeah. Do, you bring, do you bring orange slices like Mary does and stuff like that? Oh, Mary, please do here. not add to my oh, no. response. Okay, my bad. Yep, yep. Mary's like disinfecting instruments and stuff, walking around. Yeah, 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 she yeah. hosts a national TV show, she and she's out here like she's got wet wipes here. <laughs> It's true. It's All right. the mom in us. All right. You just you care Continue, about it. Continue, please. Two more Very guests. Well. Two more All right. guests. All right. From Rock 1053, the show, their leader, Eddie Papani. <laughs> Yes. yes. What's up, Eddie? What's going Such on? Such a rocker. Although he really listens to Christopher Cross. Uh, think 100%. of the <laughs> You guys got any air supply? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Jefferson Airplane. It's wonderful. The truth about Rock 105 yeah. is that the, the hosts all listen to uh, country. This is accurate. Uh, anything but country, honestly. Right. Uh, my physical, not so great, guys. What happened? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know, it's tough. Liberty, but what anyway, happened? Any... I enjoyed it too much. <laughs> <laughs> Right here today, Come on, guys. Let's go. Episode 100. Let's do it. Bring in the heat today. How did the, the Little League team do? What's that? How the Little League team do this year? Uh, we did okay. We did okay. We're back in it. Fall ball. Yeah. Fall ball. We're right back yeah. in it, man. Fall ball. Yeah, but apparently you don't care about fall ball. Yeah, because me. do you have your magic sippy cup still in the, in the so, dugout? No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. Come All on. Right. I'm getting me thrown out of the league. Okay. Sully. No, fall ball apparently is not that big of a deal. Um, it's Until supposed the to be like practice, involved. but that, and I'm like the only guy that cares out there. So I'm, I legitimately almost got thrown out of my first game this past. That's game. awesome. Yeah, I awesome. love that. Uh, ejected, ejected, he ejected. Me. <laughs> yeah, why? This close, this close. Why? Threw a kid down. Sometimes umpires don't like you questioning things. And sometimes I just have questions. I just have questions. <laughs> I'm not raising my voice. I just asking for a friend. Yes. What's, What's the, the strike deal? zone, actually? Yes. Hypothetically. Why are you a moron? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right. It's fine. Right. One more guess. One, One more guess. guess. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen over. from KUSI's Good Evening San Diego, Logan Burns. What? I 
song. That's gonna be great. No, we don't want to. I, I'm sure it did. He brought. He brought the red velvet ropes. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Are you guys kidding me? I know he he cool. broke the red velvet ropes. Did you see wow. that? Security? Tommy? <laughs> like, what's up, brother? Good to see him, man. How many colonoscopies <laughs> are you allowed? Wow. In a, in, a, in a day. I know, I know is, a lot of people are wondering. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. This is so cool. Thank you all. Hey, wait a second. Um, Congratulations, by the way. Guys. Uh, first Thank of all, you. yeah. 100. There's a reason you guys are all here. There is. Because said yes. I, uh, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold yeah, on a second. The bar is low. The bar is really low. Boy band tryouts. Every time, every time you guys are on, every one of you, we say, "How many times you guys been on the air?" And we counted. And we this counted. We counted. You're kidding. No. Oh, so uh, Mary Bert Godwin or yes. Tommy or somebody is going to go through, and we're going to go through the. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, yeah, let's check the leaderboard here. Um, oh, we got the leaderboard. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got Logan Burns, four appearances. Wow! Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. 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 Now we got a tie with our KO side team here. Uh, Lauren, oh, sorry, not, not KO side. Lauren and Eddie, you two, are coming in at six. Six! Oh, wow. 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 And we have Mark Mathis coming in at seven. Wow. Yay! Seven. Mark Mathis at seven. We got Jesse Lozano at eight. Eight! Hey. 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 Thank you. Wow, the odds are high. And may I have the honor? <laughs> and shotgun Tom oh, Kelly. Yes. Come on now. Oh. How many? 14. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got something special for you. It is. We got a personalized robe. Oh my God. Yeah. Jack and Tom. On the air. Do I put it on? Put it on. All right, baby. here we go. Put it on. Wow. 14. All right. You get this out after right here. Oh my God. Oh, goodness, right that is great. You can these out after 10 episodes. Yeah. Yeah, we missed When you reach 10, you get one too. Get a robe? Oh, this yeah. is so yes. nice. When you reach 10, you'll get a robe. So, Mark, wow. you're never going to get a robe. <laughs> All right, there's one more. Wait, wait, wait. There's consolation prizes, though, for oh, all you. Oh. So come on with the consolation oh, prizes. We all got something for each of oh, you. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at another yeah. yeah. 15 yeah. Sully Band hat. Wow. Hey. Wow. Yeah. Yes. This time right here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sully hat. Yeah. A subscription yeah. to the Sully yeah. Band. Club. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Finally, a use yeah. for a mug yeah. with yeah. my face. You like that? All right, on the air, on the air, coming up. We have a very special guest in the audience who's been here seven times. Yes. I'll let you know coming back. On the air is on the air. We got Eddie Papati, Lauren Finney, Mark Mathis, Jesse Lozano, Shotgun Tom, Logan Burns, yeah. and a couple other guys. The Sully Man. We'll see you in a minute. Hi, my name is Sully, and we're celebrating 100 episodes of On Air with Sully. I'm not Sully, come on. It's Nate, come on, bro. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. 100 episodes, man. I tell you what, you're working, you're working. Uh, I have a suggestion for your 101, 101 episode. Uh, me and Marcy's song, 101 East Bell, might be a good lead into that. Uh, just saying. Anyway, I love you, man. Congratulations, peace. All right. Eddie yeah. Papani from The Rock. Yeah. The show. Yeah. The 105. Lauren Finney, KOSI News. Mark Mathis, 75. Jesse Lozano. Shotgun Tom of some fame. Come on, Sully. <laughs> the most handsome man in television, Logan Burns. Little Tommy, I'm Sully, that's the Sully man. Lance Weir's here. And I spot somebody very famous in the audience today. That's power, man. Oh, yeah. We had so many people. We had so many people uh, here introducing that I wanted to save a special moment for my good friend Rebecca Jade. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And while we have, so how are you, honey? Great. I am doing fabulous. Thank you. How are you? You know that we may be up for Grammy consideration on a little album you and I did. Stop together. it. Whoa. Yeah. That's we hit, exciting. We hit what's called the long list. So we are in the last 100 albums wow, to right. see if we hit a uh, Grammy nomination for. And Rebecca's the reason, let's face it. <laughs> okay, so Rebecca, as long as we're talking to you, will you go up and sing us a song? I would love to sing a song. Go up and sing. Who's wanted to hear Rebecca Jake yeah. sing? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Let's go.
Let's go. Listen. By the way, she she was Rebecca's been on stage. Uh, she tours with um, uh, Elton John, Sheila E. Oh. She, she was on stage with Sir Elton John at the Oscars. Oscars. Yes. Wow. Standing of Music Awards, Artist of the Year, Album of the Year. The KUSI Patio Performer. Yes. <laughs> patio <laughs> Performer? Yes, she was. All right. Rebecca, take it. What do you say? Is this one of your own? It is. It's one of my original songs. It's actually my current single that's on my off of my new album. And uh, just to give a little backstory on this song, it's about, uh, we've ever met with somebody and you like think you hope you have a vibe with them and you want to know, uh, you know, What's gonna happen between yeah, this? What's yeah. gonna What's gonna happen? All right, let's and go. And then uh, you you want to know, but if it's not a good vibe, you want to tell them to let you know how how to let your heart go. So this song is called "Show Me." Hope you show like me. It. Two, All right. Three, four. Even when you're next to me, you're so far away. I wanna give you the best of me, but I can't make you stay. Head is spinning dizzy with infatuation Pulse is beating, guess my heart has won, yeah Keep my distance over time, will cure this heartache But I can't get you up my mind My love is yours to take Heart is broken once again from catching feelings Wanna let you go but the damage has been done Show me how to move on from these feelings, baby. Is it so wrong to want you in my life? Nothing moves me like you. No one else compares to you. I just wish you would feel the same way too. Loving you can be so right.
Wow. I didn't so even. I, come on, you wrote that, right? I did. Yes. Can I just wow. can I just give a shout out to my band, James East, who's played yes. with everybody. Yes. Lionel Richie, to Eric Clapton, Samoka Jarvis, who's currently also on tour with Andy Grammer, yes. April Leslie. Michael Bolton fan. Trip Sprague has played with everyone, including Kenny Loggins. And of course, Steve Dillard, yes, Righteous Steve. Brothers, Leonard oh, Skinner, man. Huey wow. Lewis. Uh, and then there's Trace, our drummer. Yeah. <laughs> I play with hey. the Sully Band, hey. Rebecca Jane, Lester Abrams. That's right. That's right. Lester That's Abrams, who right. wrote Minute by Minute That's with right. Uma. Mark Hattersley, you heard him play the Sango Potteries, of course. Yeah. He, wrote, he wrote Wind Beneath My Wings, an Oscar winner that Eddie thinks too. And of course, Brian Jordan, Dave Matthews. Wow. James Brown, wow. Lauren Hill, and from the island of Lemon Grove, hey. Nacho is. Summer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, will you uh, will you go sing a song for us today? Come on, oh. I can't, come on. I can't sing after that. Oh, I come think on you now. can. I can't sing come after on. that. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, All right. I wouldn't. All right. I, <laughs> I'll do it if you do it. I'll do one if you do one. We're not going to be. We're not going to be able to keep up with this. Yeah. I All wasn't right. prepared for this. Oh, Ladies wow. and gentlemen, I wasn't All prepared right. for this. All right, so let's do this. We'll take a little, we'll set the stage up. We come out of the commercial break. It's going to be little Tommy and the Sully band. Yeah. 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 And give it up for Rebecca J. One hundred episodes. My goodness, where does the time go? Big congrats to you, Sully, on 100 episodes of On The Air and to your stellar crew who consistently makes you look good. Miraculously so, I might add. Anyway, big congrats again. And maybe for episode 101, you can mix in uh, a new wardrobe. Who knows? On The Air On The Air. Look at this cast. Oh, wow. Look at Tommy. Yeah. Smooth as a gravy sandwich. Woo! All right, so... Tommy has agreed to do a song. Well, right. Can we give it up for Tommy? Yeah. Wow. Well, no, hold on a second. This is, this is how these things work. Tommy usually calls me the morning of and says, hey, what do you think I'm going to be doing a song? <laughs> and, and these guys can play anything as you yeah. know. No, in fact, we'll do, after the show's over, because, well, maybe we can do it during the show. We can actually call it any song and they can play it. Yeah. The only problem is, and even this is, happens on stage, is when, so, is if, you know, he goes into Ride Like the Wind by Christopher Cross. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know the words, so the lyrics are very pieceless. So, Mark, can you stand up and hold the lyrics right next to Tommy's? Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, I want, right no, here. Yeah. I want I want you to be a no. singing cat. <laughs> <clears throat> Get it? Get Eddie, will you sing back up? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. What are you singing, Tommy? Um, Ramblin' Gamblin' Man. Okay. Yes! All right. By Bob Seger, going back to 1969 in Detroit, Michigan. Hey. All right. Wow. I yeah. played that on my show. Hey. Oh, yeah. I'll do one of the D blocks there. I don't even think you used your cheat sheet. I that didn't. was incredible. Because Mathis off. was supposed to have it in front of him. Mathis is like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, he's used for me now. 
Voss. When are we performing when this? Are, when is the Sully Band performing? Um, yes. we, I think, yeah, we got pulled in for... Uh, uh, November 23rd. November, yeah, that's right. Day before, th day before Thanksgiving? Happy Hour Show. Ooh. Okay. Get a little that's greased right. up before, you know, that's yeah. actually okay. a great it's idea. Oh, yeah. It's like a pre... <laughs> yeah. Ha it's a pre Because let's face it, because we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you know. Let's get so it. We're starting, right. we're starting on Wednesday, 5.30, 8.30. Mary, what is that? Can you tell that's us, Mary? Good. That's Mary. a good time to go out. Mic, where oh, here, here it is. Here, take this yeah. one. Yeah. Take, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> performing, I guess. Oh. We'll get the that. belly up. Oh. You're all performing. You know this, right? You're all you're all in to go. Oh, this is like dancing. No, but this is a big deal. and entering... Christmas. It's oh, the kickoff yeah. party. It's the kickoff for oh, B and E. Yes. Yeah. We're, getting, we're taking gift cards, presents, whatever it may be. Yeah. So yeah. Gonna have selected the family or families. Oh yeah. It's Wednesday. Night. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Belly up. Sully Van's playing. Like the, as in the night before Thanksgiving. The yeah. night before. Night before Thanksgiving. And it's the kickoff to breaking and entering Christmas. That's exactly right. Do you it's going to be great. The cage dance? Yes, we do. Like, <laughs> I can yeah. Have yeah. yeah. The there we go. Purchased. Yes. <laughs> I can do it. That's I can visual. do it. I made like $300 last year. Did you were our top fundraiser last time? It was amazing. Yeah, Logan. By the way, you guys each get four tickets to come to the show if you guys want to come to the If you want. And got, a pad, got, nice. a, got a pad the room, Eddie. Yeah, and a reminder, Breaking and Entering Christmas will be on KUSI Saturday, December 10th. Saturday right. morning, December 10th. So we're going to do the uh, kickoff We're gonna do the kickoff concert and try to get money raised as well as stuff raised. And are we going to read the letter at that point? Or? I believe so, yes. Right. That's the By night. the way, that was a great segue because, you know, this show, uh, we don't seem like we're on TV. I, oh, clearly, Tom. <laughs> very <laughs> unprofessional. Because you got a coffee yeah. cup and a freaking oh, yeah. bug in front of you. <laughs> Uh, you know, I feel like Jackie Gleason at the yeah. end of the show. Uh, well, you know, like he shotgun all, every morning. He does all like. these skits, you know, and then he comes out on stage at the end of the show. Hey, thank you, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show. Good night, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> or good night, Miami. But, you know, I got to tell you, Sully Tommy, uh, <laughs> really, 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 this show, we don't seem like we're... He is smooth as a gravy sandwich. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> slicker than snot on a wet doorknob. Oh, please. Like, he, I mean, he's smooth. So he you took know, that mug. Yeah, I know, I'm checking the mug. Dave, Dave Sniff said it, it. I can't believe I'm on TV. Remember wow. he said that, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but this show is not only an entertaining show, uh, it's about broadcasters. It's, it gives us a voice wow. and a face. But let me tell you something. Both you guys, look what you do for leukemia. Yeah. I mean, for crying out loud, you, this is a community oh, yeah. show. And Tommy, the breaking in every now, I mean, you two guys, you raise money. If you, and, and you've had people on the show who need some support and you give it to them. Some yeah. of you do. You Isn't know? that what we're supposed to do? Yes. And Tommy's early days of breaking and entering weren't that great. So now he's kind of come around. <laughs> <laughs> when he was like 15, it wasn't that good thing. I was going to say something a while. It was, it was kind the, of a bad deal when he was 15. By the way, the, the gentleman who uh, coined the phrase, Elvis has left the building, mm -hmm. Sonny Jim Price gives him uh, or gives you uh, his regards. I love that. Wow. He's been on this program. The guy who said Elvis has left really? the building. That's wow. right. You know. wow. Logan. What did he say? He said, Alice has left the I'm building. Kidding. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for Logan. Oh, oh, no. Thanks for hijacking oh, my no. So Logan. Easy, please. Well, Did you just hear me say time. So Logan? Well, right. you have no, not Before. anymore. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just fascinated. You know, I'm fascinated with how you grew up. I mean, your dad was in Greece. Yes. Can you tell us a Hollywood story? A Hollywood story, story like a Wait a second. He one? was he was he was one of the major stars in Greece. Yes. Yeah. And he was and do you grew up you went to Beverly Hills High, Hollywood High? Yeah, 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 Beverly Hills wow. High. Wow. Yeah. No, not a clean story, place. a clean a good story. All right. I was thinking about this one the other day because Halloween is coming up. So one of my dear friends who I uh, is a great friend right now, his father was the president of Warner Brothers. Wow. Oh yeah. That's a so that one. so anyhow, we were thinking what do we do for Halloween? We need a good costume shotgun. And so we said, "Why don't you come on down to Warner Brothers and to the lot? you loose. We're going to the lot, in babe. The, <laughs> what? In the prop store where all wow. the costumes are and everything. So we all grabbed a I think it was um ben -Hur three outfit? musketeer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in the gladiator. No. Of course you are. No, 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 no. We're doing so. So we all got decked out in the uh, Three Musketeers outfits with the hats and the big poofy shirts and the vests and the boots. And That's the your new thing. gang name, by the way. And then big we went. Big poofy. <laughs> big poofy. And then we went to this amazing party, all decked out. And you got the, to go to the Warner Brothers. In the Brothers legitimate, lot could you real imagine? Costumes. These from two the guys oh. at the freaking no. Warner Brothers lot oh, for a costume. Oh, oh there it is. Happen. I mean, I'd be wearing the Batman suit. <laughs> Superheroes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
live studio audience, thank you guys for coming out. Eddie Papani, Lauren Finney, Mark Mathis, Jesse Lozano, Shotgun Tom, and Logan Burns. Hey. Him inspire me to be a mic to attack so him Have me the mic around the amplifier Hey! Oh na 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 Oh na 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this middleman's entries The articles and sorters made audible observations From mass production, mass consumption of fly school graduate ready for Congratulations on 100 episodes of On The Air with Sully and Tommy This is an insane accomplishment. I am so happy for you guys and it's such a testimony to how incredible and impactful you guys are. Not only to the people in San Diego like me, but so many people across the country. You guys are amazing and I am so, so happy for you. Ladies, ladies and it's the same time. That it's it. the same time. La ladies and gentlemen, ah, ah, I knew this was gonna happen. Practice this. <laughs> ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen the, the Sully Band. Band. Classic. Well, I don't mean to trouble your mind. I'm just trying to find my way home. Silently, I'm seeking a kind of a way to get by on my own. Downtown Saturday.
That was awesome. Wow, it's been a long time. So yeah, good. Good. It's been a long time. More. That was awesome. More. When's the last time we all got together and did this? I haven't been in. I haven't been. I've not been in front of my own band for how? But it's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a what was our last show? Years. No. <laughs> what was our last show we did? Belly up. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, hey, where do you get all that soul, man? Um, honestly, my dad. Is that right? My dad took me to a to an Otis Redding concert when I was five years old. Wow. Maybe six, but yeah. That is tremendous. Father of the year. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one hundred, and we have a live audience. Yeah. yeah. That's great. And Rebecca Jade. And Lance Weir. Yeah. Wow. CC East over there. We're two special friends and the rest of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Tommy, you did a great job on that song. Tommy, yeah, I, I think, I think oh, it was... Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I did. I think it was... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no. I think no. it was... Uh, yeah. I think it was the highlight of the show so I far. <laughs> and, uh, we have more to come. Yeah. But, uh, hey, good job. But, yeah, I, I did like mine better. But hey, good job. Yeah. Yeah. Nice effort. Yeah. Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> no, this has been fun. Did episode I start 100. something? I mean, what, what's going on here? It what is you? crazy. You know, I think I was on like episode three at the yes, old you were. studios. And I think what we all thought, no chance this show's going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. And here we are, episode 100. I don't know how it happened. I honestly don't. Thank you, Congratulations. Eddie. There's an album for you. Oh, Thank you. Oh, wow. There it is. Wow. There it is. Oh, yeah, Shotgun yeah. Tom said something. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, let's just see how the rest of the show goes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said yeah. it. Ah. Oh, I see. Logan asked me about when my next show is. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Lauren is always my best wow. friend. Wow. Oh, that's okay, that's it. Yes, Shows yeah. over, Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Come with the compliments, man. Shows over. Yeah. Well, that's nice. I hear you're pretty just good. Just say 75. Stand up. 75. And, 75. 75. Just stand up. Here we go. For Rusty Nails. Where's the, where's the camera? Here we go. They're everywhere. One hundred! Hey, congratulations to a hundred episodes of On the Air. Sully and the entire crew, you guys are smashing it. Here's to another hundred episodes and just sending a lot of peace and love to you guys and to our brother Rusty, who uh, devoted a lot of his uh, heart and soul into this project. May Rusty rest in peace. Uh, anyway, peace out, y'all. Keep doing it. Here's to the next hundred. On the air, it's on the air. Look at the live studio audience is with us. Oh my Oh, look at this. A song written by Shane Beast, Nathan East, Marcel East. It's called 100 Years. Wow. Yeah. Two times. There you go. Yeah. All right. This is fun. Hey, thank you, guys. Sully, man, thank you. It's, it's been great having you guys here, obviously. You sound way better without me up there. Yes. All of, and all of you guys, wow. it's super fun having our most Thank regular guests. Thank you so guests. much. I'd have you guys on every week, except for we like Bob Taylor better. Bob Taylor is the only guest we've had that's been a one-person guest, and I swear I could have had three hours with the guy. But we could have three hours with each one of you guys, too. Absolutely. So. And our audience here... Uh, I'm oh. sure. I'm sure we can get them. Can we get them CDs or an album or something? I'm not gonna. Well, I didn't sign this. Ted Leitner signed this one for me. So uh, <laughs> CDs are under their chair. Where? Well, <laughs> right. do, do you have something else there? What is this? Oh. This is very hey. special. I oh. picked it myself. Hey. Oh, look at that. Oh. I do wow. want to say this is a bit. We always like to celebrate with dessert around here. Yes. Hold um, on. Let's hold it up for congratulations a Congratulations on 100 episodes. Nice. It's spelled uh, wrong, and I think it's right under Rusty, so he prayed a joke there we on go. us oh, right there we because go. it was Episode. misspelled. Look at that. Oh, isn't that great? Look that at cool? that. Right. That was wow. from our one-year anniversary. And my our, buddy uh, Rusty Nails. Oh. Tom, Tommy's thinking, how's my picture? How's my picture? You look good. <laughs> I don't know. I look good. I, I look see. good. You do look good. But it's going to sound really weird, but I always We can put an E in there. We can put an E in there. No one else did, though. Tommy's Tommy's song 101, come here, folks. We, gotta, we can make an E. We can make an E. Can we, can we show it around? 
Oh, that is beautiful. No, that's enough. It hurts your eyes. Yes. <laughs> you got a hundred more in you? Um, yes. Oh, yeah. That's my first instinct. Don't. Come on, Lauren. Do this. Come on. Let's light this candle. Do it. Come on. Right over. Yeah. Come. No. Get in there. Right on Tony's. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, I will tell you that it is bittersweet today. Because Russ is not with us. Uh, you know, Russ yeah. and I were in a, in a TV studio and radio studio for literally 30 years together for my national show, Big Biz Show. And then, of course, Tommy and I started this, and Russ came, became a part of it very quickly, mainly because he wouldn't leave the studio from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are we doing? So I grew up listening, I, listening to Russ on 91X. Yeah. It, I mean, you guys all, I mean, you were all close friends with Russ Tino. Absolutely. You know, you, know, you two especially, you and, and Russ were hilarious on the air. And it was really, um, and we haven't told this story. But Russ, um, well, Russ would say to me, because, God, I spent more time with him than anybody in 30 years. And he would say to me, you know what, if, if I could just go while I'm singing a song, I'd be the happiest guy in the world. Oh, wow. and, and I'm just going to, I'll go the story backwards. Um, uh, he had rehearsed with James in the band that morning. And I, I, he, was he more rusty nails than he's ever had? Oh, he was great. I mean, no, in the, in the rehearsal, right, guys? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah so, he's fantastic. And, and he goes on stage, and we, and I know Tom was here. That's um, right. Lauren, Lauren was, was here. here. Chris Goldsmith from Belly Up was here. Right. Um, and Russ uh, literally, and I don't think we've said this on, on uh, before, but he played his last chord yes. of I'll Melt With You, yes. looked at James and said, I'm done, and collapsed on the stage. He, and, and he he passed of a massive heart attack and a massive stroke at the same he time. Fell on me, man. Yeah, he yeah. did. I thought it, actually, you know what? When I heard him fall, Tom, I thought it was you. Did I, you really? Well, I thought face. you fell off your set. Well, you. Oh, no. <laughs> with the robe and the special cup. Well, I didn't have the robe then, you know. Yeah. But you know, um, many but of us. With him, you think it's a joke. It's we we laugh. Right. Jared Coleman, our Emmy Award-winning director, we came out and said, "Is that a joke?" Is yeah, that I, a, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought, I thought it was, it was a funny ball. bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but he is—he's missed. I've obviously missed by me every day, just because I was on air. But I mean, on this show though, uh, it's a different show without him, and we haven't replaced. Um, I mean, many of you have co-hosted as yeah. a third person, not you so much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Eddie knows he's one of my favorite people in the world. I bought him a refrigerator for his studio. That's how much I love him. Wow. Um, but but he's, he will be missed here, and, and we want to um, we want to spend a little bit of time just uh, absolutely because he's been a part of everybody's life. And even if he weren't here in the '80s, like I say, with Russ was big in the '80s. Now he's big and he's 80. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Uh, but yeah, it was uh, and it was it hit us both really hard. I mean, Tommy and I were on the phone nonstop for it's like, did that just happen? And it was a crazy thing. So um, I just wanted to take a little bit of time and give Rusty Nails a round. Yeah, Russ. Russ. Hey. Your son Tyler right back there. Tyler, wave your hand. I've known, I've known Ty since Ty was four years old. And, uh, it's, great to, it's great to have him here. So. You know, I, I've known him since 1976 is when I first no. met him. He was our photographer. and uh, He was your... Photographer. <laughs> well, not mine at the station. Back in the 80s, I'm certain he had import export business. Yeah. <laughs> if you know what I mean, and I think oh, yeah. you do. But Manny, uh, I remember he, uh, he wanted to get into comedy, and I was his announcer on Cron Burgundy, too, you know. That's right. And uh, Live High Live was, when, was his show. Oh, and when Imagine he, reading that. Live High li Live, High Live High. We, and we worked together, you know, <laughs> at certain functions, and he would, of course, yeah. entertain. And then I would come up. He would really warm the audience up. Yeah. I, I miss him dearly. It was fantastic. And yeah. Mathis, some of the funniest video oh. on record oh my. Dude, I, are the dueling Mathises. You know, and when I said at his memorial service about not really knowing him for the first you know year that he was impersonating me no. was true. Right. You didn't? I, Did you hear in the other room some guy impersonating you? No. Uh, somebody sent me the video because I wasn't doing Good Morning San Diego at the time. I was doing the evening shows. Somebody sent me the video. And when he did the seven day, because people have impersonated me over the years because I have this <laughs> funky voice. But... Uh, when he did that seven day, I fell out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would just say 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75, 75. <laughs> and I just fell out. I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. And um, and then about a year after he started impersonating me, he and I became really, 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 yeah. really good friends. And then we did stuff together yeah. almost Which was almost great. weekly. Super yeah. good. Yeah. Lauren, I, you, I know you had a huge soft spot in your heart for Russ. I loved Russ. I mean, who, who didn't? Who he was just hilarious. Yeah. Russ, here, you know how brave he, Russ was? <clears throat> So we have the benefit of having you people here. But a normal TV studio has six people and nobody else in the room. It's a mausoleum, and it's about 63 degrees. <laughs> Russ would go on live TV and do comedy in front of the TV camera. Now, you realize this is what it's like. Yeah, so that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> and there's two people. <laughs> and then Rector, I, just... I really killed her. <laughs> and then, and there's, 
some camera guys. And, and I thought it was I thought it was so brave of him. He did. And Russ, if Russ had a chance to go on stage, he'd go on stage. So we thought we would end the show. Yes. Uh, with uh, his last appearance uh, on television, on radio. Last time I got to see him alive, uh, any of us, and he was sitting uh, right here at this bar. Yes. And we're going to show you uh, the last performance. And before we pass off to that, I want to thank you guys for coming out. It's been awesome. Thank everybody for watching. Let's do 100 more episodes. Thanks, Sully Band. Take it away, Jared. Can you, can you go give us an offering? Of what, you, what is your yeah. favorite song for the 80s? Uh, I love doing this song when I'm performing at Monarch at 3 o'clock on Sunday till sunset. <laughs> Monarch, Del Mar, sunset, 3 to... Uh, it's uh, modern English, I'll melt with you. I you, bet you the band you doesn't know, know that. You guys know this can one? Can you guys do that? That's not it. Let me show nah. you. <laughs> oh, I see. No, I don't. That sounds like a... Here he goes. I bet you he doesn't know the chords on the guitar. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a second. This is the song that they played in the very end of Valley Girl. When Nick Cage got the limousine. Nicholas Cage. He started driving up the 405.